hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Tuscany campaign as we continue under Queen Matilda of Romagna, newly anointed Queen of Romagna. Now, we uh, need to continue trying to uh, get ourselves in a decent position. I still want to try and reform and unify Italy, which we will obviously continue to seek to do. The Pope does actually like us, although we stole his title. Wait a second. He doesn't actually care that we took that title from him at all. He does care that we are a sinner, which obviously we are trying to combat. If we can do anything else towards going uh, away from our sins, then we will do so. But for now, we are enjoying a little bit of a period of peace. Notable guest has arrived. Are you any good at anything? Not really. Uh, I should grant Empoli to someone, apparently. I'm good for now. I can create a bunch of duchies. I also hold too many duchies. Which is going to lower my vassal's opinion of me. Uh, okay, maybe I could give... Did I, did I give you... Did I give you a duchy? I didn't, so I could give you a duchy. Do I have a duchy worth giving you, though? Not really. So there's not much point in me doing that. Uh, let's check and see what's wars going on here. We've got war, Bohemian War and the Kingdom of Hungary. We got rid of the uh, child to finance my usurping of the title. So that's ongoing. So we do need to bear that in mind. I'm hoping that a white peace might happen. But I don't think it will. Nevertheless, he has still got a lot of troops. He may well be able to bring someone else in. If France is at war with another person, then... Ah, oh, looks like France isn't going to be... Oh, they are going to be involved. Okay, but France is pretty much weaker. I myself am not going to get involved anymore on this front. I don't think it's really worth us doing. Benedict has won a holy war for the Bishopric of, of uh, Tivoli. So congratulations to Pope Benedictus the Ninth. Meanwhile, Florence, we could do with getting a duchy building. Or did we do that already? We did not. So we want to get a duchy building there. We are illustrious and well on our way to exalted man, actually. Or lady, in this case. Also, our renown is not doing it too badly. And we are the dynasty head, which is excellent. Now, in terms of legacies, we are a bit of a way away from being able to do any of these. With only 300 and something renown, but hopefully we'll get there. My husband, King Gerhard, approaches me with a sincere smile. I would appreciate if we would renegotiate my contract, my queen. Any improvement would, of course, be met with enthusiasm from my treasury. Uh, feudal taxes are reduced, and I get the county of Ferrara. Well, I don't want that. Reduces his feudal taxes by how much? And he pays me 50 gold. I mean, no. Don't be ridiculous. Gerhard, just accept you're not the man in this relationship. And you never will be. So, we have some other places that we need to go for. Does this come under... No, this comes under the Kingdom of Sicily. So we're not interested in that. I am, however, interested in a claim over here. We want to try and get Carinthia and usurp his title if we can. Uh, we will not be able to get a claim from the church, which is fine because we're not that pious, so it's not really expected to happen. I can declare war on Genoa. Now where are you? You're all the way over there. Does Genoa 
presumably should count towards the Kingdom of Italy. I would have thought it does. And I can declare war on you. You have no allies. Oh no, you do. <laughs> the Emperor himself. Okay, well we're not going to declare war on you if you're allied to the Emperor, but what can I actually claim? Oberto can claim Luni, and that's it. But that's another county that would come into potentially allowing us to create the kingdom, so it wouldn't be bad. How are my knights? Let's have a look. Not the best. We could do with some better, let's be honest. Also, what's going on with the council at the moment? We are now endorsed by the church, which helps. Chancellor's alright. Steward is not the best. Um, Count Fermo is looking a little bit better. He's also a trained steward. Are you good at anything else? Not really, so I am going to swap you out. Sorry, Giacobo, but... I'm afraid it needs to be done. Beatrix has been asking me for a sewing kit, so she can get trusting, which gives her plus two diplomacy. That's fine. You're going to just collect taxes for me. We are still, I believe... Are we still... No, we're not. We're Marshall, aren't we? I forget, we were considered the Marshall. You signed a white piece there, so the Holy Roman Empire in that sense is happy. It's come to my attention that your Archbishop Anastasio is working to fabricate a spurious claim on the county of Treviso. So he's going to lose even more opinion, which is a shame, because he does actually give me quite a bit, but I don't really want him. My husband's just getting smallpox, that's really not good. I might have to get a new husband here. Romance declaration of love. The clang of weapons and excited cheers draw me to the courtyard. What's going on? I find two armoured warriors engaging in a clumsy sparring match. I try not to cringe as one of them stumbles after an unnecessary forceful swing. Uh, Olver attempts to win my heart. Okay, I'm not interested in his scheme. I've got no need for other children, thank you. My young daughter is more than sufficient. Matilda has turned out fairly well. Uh, and she has given me an alliance with Denmark. We've got a new perk available. Close family opinion. Plus 15 confidence. Diplomat. Eh. Let me go for the heart of the family here. Oh, my husband just died. That's going to increase our stress, unfortunately. And we are already a little bit stressed. Going to need to try and lower that stress level. So, we now need to find a new spouse. But before we do, what's going to lower my stress? Hunting? Yes, hunting will. Oh my god, that's expensive. It'll also give us some prestige. Let's do it though, because we need it. Uh, and let's also set about getting a decent marriage. Udes Carling. Uh, no. No. Chateau Renata. Can we really not get much alliance power? Rank. Lord Mayor. Hmm, okay. My biggest prestige game will be this. Will give me an alliance with you. You have, to be fair, you've got 700 troops. Where are you based? I think you're based in France, aren't you? Okay, well, we'll go with the Udes. Because he is, after all, Catholic. He is French. He's not got fabulous statistics, to be quite honest. Maybe we don't go for you. Is there anyone with fabulous statistics? 23 Marshall is nothing to be shunned at. 
Uh, maybe we go for you, zealous, humble, and brave. And you're young. We lose a bit of prestige here, but I think it's worth. Um, I can modify contracts. I can create titles. I can also ransom someone. Let's go do that. Uh, Bologna. Let's have an alliance with you. Beatrix, let's have an alliance with you as well. Uh, husband has fallen, so we're not going to do anything there. Let's close that. Start. And she's very happy with an alliance, which is good stuff. He wants limited crown authority. Vassals, titles can be revoked. Vassals can be retracted. Clan government vassals will be provided at least 5% levy. Uh, King Alfonso. Wait, what? I didn't realise it was your vassal. Does that mean we get an alliance with you? Woo. Uh, also, Alfonso, you have pretty well united. Spain. Congrats, man. The heart. Uh, gain a bit of prestige here. Perfect. We want to gain some prestige. Now. We press on. We gain a little bit more prestige. Excellent. Financially, we're not doing too hot. We could do with a bit more money. I need this war to be over, though. What's going on here? Shakedom of Tarragona. So this is a holy war called on by them? Who's the aggressor here? They're the defenders. We're the attackers. Where is Tarragona? It's over in Barcelona, actually. So is Barcelona owed by... No, you are independent, I see. Okay. So the Emperor has pledged... Holy War here. Can I join this? Uh, I can ask for gold, but I don't think I really want to. He loses some opinion of me, and I'm not getting that much opinion. Were you still trying to sway him, yeah? No. Oof, it's only 22%. What if I set you onto support scheme? Still only 22%. Oh, God. That's not good. Well, we need to do something about that. Uh, also, husband, you can... Oh, we actually got a kill here. You can go on chivalry. Yes, that's good. So my troop levy count is pretty much what it can be. And we return home invigorated with another 150 prestige. I think we'd possibly join this. He's not my ally, so I can't join it. Can I join it from him? No. Not allowed, because he's not defending. Can we become our allies, maybe? No, we cannot. Okay, so I have to ignore that. Uh, in terms of you, I think you just need to give up Bohemia. It's not going to happen. To be quite honest, I need to save up some cash for when we get a claim here. But apart from that, we should be pretty hunky-dory. Actually, to be fair, you've only got the French over here. I'm guessing they've all got other wars that they're now involved with. Like Hungary... No, you're still going on there. Poland, are you involved in this war? No. We're well, actually allied to them. Yeah, here they are. So this is the army of Hungary itself, and I think Croatia were involved in this as well, so it's not really that good for us. She's got charismatic negotiators, so she's become quite the diplomat. Congrats, Beatrice. You have turned out rather well. 
betrothed can marry. Can I get it to be a matrilineal marriage? No, I cannot, but she will get 300 prestige uh, and a good alliance with Poland for us. That works out quite nicely. I can ask my head of faith for gold. Yeah, but I don't want to lose the opinion right now. Low control in Brescia. So that's a county I hold. Where is it? County Brescia is over here. Why is control so low? It's going down. So let's go send the marshal to deal with a bit of control. Not sure what's going on there, but it needs to be dealt with. And Valdemar is pretty good for this sort of thing. Ooh, what's going on here? Greetings, Queen Matilda. I prowled through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lady of Count Treviso. It's going to cost me 105, so before I do it, maybe now is the time that we ask for His Holiness's help on the financial front. So we'll ask him for gold, which he will accept. Uh, I will do this. He'll pay me some cash so we won't be in debt anymore. Thank you very much, Your Holiness. It does mean we lose a lot of piety, but that's fine. So, as for you, who are you allied to? You have actually got some allies, which is unfortunate. Um, and they're not bad allies either. Crap. <laughs> You are at war at the moment for Bavaria, which you're winning. Yeah, this war's pretty well over. Okay, well I'll keep the claim for now and see what we do with it later. In the meantime, Bishop, go improve religious relations, get me some piety. What other areas can we go towards? Lombardy. I have a claim on you. So perhaps I should. Okay, good. My stress is going down. Oh, but Lodovica has been killed by someone. Is this a plan? Okay, the Pope has not been swayed by my... Uh, Attempt, which is a shame. Lombardy, though, it might be nice to get a claim on you. So you go for Lombardy. It's going to take you a couple of years, but this does form part of the Kingdom of Italy. We need another six titles and a whole heap of cash. So, a lot of work to do in that regard. Not much point in me creating these. It costs too much money. Money's a bit of a pain in this. Can I go to war with you again just for some cash? You have got an ally with this guy, but you're pretty weak right now. I uh, can't get a claim. What about across the uh, across the oceans here? Got Duchy of Corsica. Can't claim on you. You are my vassal, Bastia. Looks like Genoa is going for that. Of Lombardy owns that lot. This is owned by a sultan. Huh. And so is this. This, though, I can claim. 
let's... Okay, good, white piece. Uh, and I'm actually going to get some prestige for this. So that worked out pretty well for me. I'm glad that that war is over, though, because that war was an absolute pain in the proverbial. Duchy of Sard... Oh, God, what's going on here? Ooh, what is this? Ruthenia. This is Russia. Okay, the Kingdom of Ruthenia going against Poland. Who is this? Polish claim. Uh, who is he allied to? Whoa, you're allied to the Byzantine Empire. Yeah, my dude. It's not going to happen, my man. Sorry. Oh, I hit accept, didn't I? <laughs> wow. Okay, well, we're not going to get ourselves involved in it anyway. Oh! But King William... Oh, if William the Conqueror joined, then that puts us potentially in favour? Yes, it does. Oh, well. In which case, then, summon the troops. Ah, His Holiness. Compliments would be well received, or it might be construed as an insult. Loyalty and a sense of honour. Forgiving nature. Loyalty and a sense of honour. Uh, summon the troops. Now, I don't want to summon too many troops. He's got rid of me as marshal, which kind of sucks. Ah, he's happy with me. That's good, that's good. His holiness is happy. Taking a big hit to the troop count, though. Unfortunately. Uh, I am considered the best, but my husband will stick with, because we don't want to die, obviously. Ooh, it's quite a trek for us to travel. But we'll do it nonetheless. Come on, lads. Get going. Win us glory in war. We've also had another ally join, so that's going to help boost the troops. Byzantine Emperor, though. Who is... Not got some good stats. Not got some good stats at all. It's also going to cost me quite a bit of money to uh, finance this war, but I'm hoping it'll be paying off. Can I declare war on you? I cannot. Countess Beatrix has been harboring a secret affection for Vitaly for some time. However, when she confessed her feelings, Vitaly responded harshly. Uh, she keeps the chaste trait. I don't particularly want that. I don't want her to gain vengeful, though. Also, you know what? Just keep chaste. She's not getting married to anyone, though. Which is no good. King of Denmark. Hmm. King of France. That's more like it. I'm not currently allied to him. In fact, he's got no allies at all. Yes, marry the King of France. You're not inheriting anything of mine. Or are you? Spoleto, is that one of my titles? Yes, it is. So we need her to marry someone matrilineally. Okay, so... Who can we get? We can still get Denmark. Prince Salomon of Hungary, you're not powerful at all. I think Denmark's going to be the best bet here, isn't it? Okay, you are 12. And, to be fair, you're probably the best bet. Let's go with that. It's another king, so that's fine. Where are my troops? They're over there. You are massive. Are you a giant? Gallant, one-legged. No, but you are pretty good at fighting. Poland, 
Lots happening here. And he's just gained quite a bit of troops, so... We need to keep an eye on how this goes here. Efforts with the Pope not gone so favourably. Could send him a gift, which will increase his opinion of us. Yeah, we need to keep our money though right now. Nine. Increase opinion. He's only a lord. Oh, actually, he does hold. Quite a bit of sway, okay. And he's got decent troops. Okay, all my allies are over there. Is their king... Their king's not fighting. Notable guest has arrived. Is he... He's a good marshal, but he's not a good knight, so we don't want him. Not interested. We're just going to start sealing, not stealing, sieging some of his counties. We've got a new perk here. Personal scheme success against family members. Each friend lose a bit of stress. Title creation cost. Oh, that's, yeah, that's pretty powerful. Particularly if I want to create the Kingdom of Italy. Okay, we are still on track. Kaiser's being attacked by, I think, the same Duke again. But he should be able to deal with that. I'll even offer to join the war. because that will help him. Wait, did I... Yes, I joined the right side, thank God. I thought I just joined the bad side there. Okay, well, we're nearly there in Russia, so we can start sieging here. And this siege is going to take seven months to do. Meanwhile, my allies are sieging a whole bunch of areas. Hopefully this is going to be worth us picking up some loots and maybe some prisoners that we can siege. That's the hope at least, anyway. Three months left on this siege, no troops coming towards me, which is lovely. And they are actually engaging in battle with Chernigov troops, which I think are allied to Russia. Right, he is coming down that way. Normandy's come in with a whole heap of troops, so that's a tremendous help. Ooh. Thought we took a bit of attrition there. Are we not merged? Let's merge up. One leader for us all. Um, we are going to make a little bit of contribution here by sieging these smaller counties, nonetheless. Okay, he's been swayed. That's good. Two days left. Good. And we did take a prisoner. That's nice. Let's go here. Who is this? Um, Count Roman's heir. Does he give me anything towards the war score? No. But he might give me... Some cash. Ten gold. Okay. Ten gold is better than no gold. And you'll give me ten gold for him. 
prowled through the documents and I can get a claim on Lombardy. That's good. To all troubles, as Queen I've been obliged to attend a local sparring tournament. But the contestants have been delayed. The tourney won't start for at least another hour. My liege, Kaiser Rignum Rignuma, is here and as always is being an insufferable lout. His constant complaining is making everyone even more miserable. Meanwhile, he's sitting under the pavilion, clearly bored halfway to death. We can become rivals. I don't want to do that. Spend some time with him and we can become friends. Yeah, let's become friends with the Kaiser. That's definitely worthwhile. Looking a little bit low on cash. I can ask for a pardon. Uh, ooh, so he could get rid of... Okay, well let's get you back on this, yeah. I could do with some more cash. It's not going to slow us down tremendously, but it's a little bit of help towards the low cash. Whoa, what's happening here? Uh, okay, so that was dealt with. Hopefully the Kaiser's fairly happy that I actually just said I would help him. Yeah, he is. Look at that. Plus 60. 60 for being a friend, and we have plus 6 for our other perks and deficiency. How are we doing here, lads? Anyone going to siege the capital? Because I feel like if we siege the capital, it's going to put us in good stead. What I might do is go and do that. Uh, we could gain some faith here and some favour with him, which I kind of need. Barcelona has announced to the world that he and his vassals have converted to Lollardi. Yeah, I'm not going to become Lollardi. Taking some more prisoners. Got a little bit more gold. Let's go to the capital. Try and siege that out. I'm going to take some heavy attrition here, but I think it's necessary to try and get this war ended with quickly. Uh, we did, in fact, capture the Countess, and she's got cash. Yes, 50 gold for her. Excellent. That gives us a little bit more breathing space. And he's happy with us. That's good. That's good. Did we manage to get anyone else, or was that... All of you. You'll give me 10 gold for her. 10 gold for her. 50 gold for you. But she's considering a current proposal. And 10 gold there. So we're making good money from hostages here. Alright, pause. Who are you? Okay, Byzantine Empire. Mm, no. No, 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 no. Stay. Go back there. Do not want to come up against the Byzantine Empire troops right now. I need my allies to come and deal with them before anything else. Which they might actually be doing, so let's move in. Yeah, they're going to deal with them. So we can possibly assist. Not that we need to, but we can at least get the siege going here. Uh, uh, right, we actually got caught into a battle here. I'm not really sure why. But uh, we did nonetheless. Council's just died. That's not good. Second, who died? My spy master. Hmm. Uh, well, you want position, so I'll make you my spy master. Considering everyone else is crap, and you're actually the best. 
just go on disrupt schemes for now. We've taken a little bit of a hit to our troop count, but we are going to continue because... Who did they just smash up? I thought they just smashed up the Byzantine Empire, but apparently not. Crusader Kings. Christian faiths have now access to Crusades. Amazing. Um, sit here. Is there anywhere we can siege? I guess we can siege here. Nothing back going on at home, is there? Nope. Florence is happy. Good. We are not too bad on money, but that's because we've lost a lot of troops. There's a faction that's been created against us. Against the Kaiser, actually. So we'll keep an eye on that. What can we do here? Modify a couple of contracts. We can ask for a pardon, but he still won't accept. And a couple of wars can be started by me. I'm going to need to heal up before we think about doing those. Beatrix comes of age and has become a, uh, a fortune builder. So she has got some good stewardship. Amazing. Good on her. And I've got some pretty beastly allies at the moment. Right, we are currently Shiza. Run away before we get picked up on. Greetings, my serene liege. As you have no doubt, I'm quite proficient in the matters of tactics and strategy. Count Valdemar. Yes, you are. Aren't you my marshal? Yes, you are. Um, take his lessons on, which will give me plus three marshal. But he gets a weak hook on us. A generous offer. What if I help you instead? Gain some prestige, but lose some opinion. I'll get to take the increase on Marshall, thank you. Oh crap, we're going to get in a battle here, but we can't win. That's pretty much us going to be out of this war now. Oh, ho, 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 that's completely destroyed our army. Just as we won. Hmm. That's disappointing, because now we need to completely heal up. We just did it outside of time. And there's a blooming crusade which we'd wanted to take part in. Crusade for Jerusalem. Oh, yes, we will be ready for the fight. Your Holiness, when is... Alright, pause. When is this going to happen? Or has it started now? My knight, I will nominate. Uh, we can donate some gold. Let's give 103 gold, that's pretty good. Launches in 15 months. So we need to heal up by then. Okay. Did my spouse die? He's imprisoned. Ah. I'll give you a favour. No. I'll give you 57. No. Fine. I need a new marshal, though, at least. Uh, who's got the best marshal? Depot has the best, but I need to give it to a count, really. He's currently my spy master. Right, become that. And then... Your steward. You become that. I need 
absolute reinforcement improvement here. Don't care about that. Organise the levies, get as much boost with that as we can. Yeah, no beneficiary selected for the crusade. I just selected the beneficiary. Yes, good. So Alberto is my beneficiary. Should we win it, he will get it all. But uh, we need a serious period of recovery. In the meantime, though, ladies and gentlemen, we will end the episode there. If you're enjoying the series, then please do consider leaving a like. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe. Hit that red button to subscribe and help support the channel. It would be immensely appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Hello.